Hi, I'm Charles Black. I'm the founder and CEO of SEN. I spent my life planning SEN because I came up with the idea when I was like 18, but that was a time before the internet and space was very much for government agencies. So I've had to be quite patient and make way through life doing things and working towards getting there. Obviously, I'm quite passionate about what I'm doing and believe in it. So I've quite a high level of self-belief in that this is like the only thing that I can do and I can't imagine doing anything other than what I'm doing. The, the journey has been really about persuading people that this is the inevitable future and that this has to come into existence. I mean, let's, let's think about the way I sort of see the world as we've got, you know, seven billion people, billions of smartphones, and people are using those phones every day, you know, to, to follow news and weather and look at maps and s see what's happening. It's inevitable in this future that, you know, a real-time data set about what's happening on the planet, where we're all guardians of planet Earth. It's, it's our, we're guardians for future generations ad infinitum. And it, it's really important that humanity is empowered to witness the evolution of the planet. We've got the first satellite launched, getting the videos back and then starting to sort of um, allow people to come on the journey with us and hopefully, you know, get excited by what we're trying to do. The inspiration for Zen really came from this idea of we need to sort of not only see what's happening on Earth, but as we explore space uh, and journey to the stars, that's just something that everyone should be part of that. And I also had this sort of feeling of almost like creating a electronic version of the universe. It's like creating this like digital version of uh, of the universe that everyone's got access to so we can understand better our place within it and that, that sort of will and help uh, interpret and determine how we look after our home planet and our journey into space. There's hundreds of, of natural disasters that impact the planet every year and there's humanitarian crises as well that develop uh, either as a result of natural disasters or uh, political conflict. So. So I think there's a lot happening in the world that SEN will be used as a sort of source of news of those events. But also just, you know, we're, we're about exploration. Um, and so actually just looking up places, so it, and it, empowering people to sort of say, I want to learn about an area and then they can access videos and see the augmented reality information which adds extra layers of detail and information about what they're looking at. Obviously we've got a really beautiful planet, we obviously see that you know, nature uh, can be ferocious and devastating and indiscriminate. And the more we can all work together as a, as a, as a, as a one society, global society, first of all to protect and look after Earth better, but obviously then to tell the story and take people on that journey as we explore space beyond Earth. So SEN is really, uh, it's for humanity um, and that's really at the heart of everything that we're trying to do.